attracted hundreds of th- well, at least 100,000 complaints. Gillan McLaughlin, Chief Executive of the AFL, good morning. I want to sign the petition, Neil. You've done the taste test. What do you think? <laughs> no, they can't change the original and the best. And the, I just tasted the new ones. I'm, I'm a seller. <laughs> yeah, a bit like changing footy to a round ball, really, wouldn't it? Correct. Mm, Please. No. Are, we, Mr., are you getting Mr Arnott in? Yeah, Mr Arnott's on the phone after, after 10. Tell him to just go back. Just, just go back. You've you made make, a blue. Fix you can, it. When you make a mistake, just admit it. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's do as I say, not do as I do. <laughs> well, remember that. I think you might, being a farmer, you might understand this too. There are certain things not growing because it's too hot. Certain well, vegetables that they've, they've, they, you can't get because I, of the weather. I was um, on the way here there looking at the weather app. A little farm down near Birragara. We need rain, Neil. And it yeah. seems like today, it was supposed to get rain, but it's sliding north. Oh, is it? Yeah. You would have been looking at the app. I was. Desperate. I was, because we, we broadcast down that area, and I wanted to hear if people were getting rain, because I know they're desperate. No, I was playing this morning, I got bugger all, and then it's going north now. Okay. Um, what do I want to ask you, North Melbourne, the Footscray and the Doggy, uh, Footscray and North tonight, which is great to see those two. Top of the uh, top of the ladder, having a playoff at Eddie Head. But the North Melbourne's put their tickets up nine bucks, seventy four bucks for a, a seat. I they? think I think the one the maximum I can put up is like three or four bucks. But the, 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 what we've done, Neil, is put the pricing back to the clubs. So you know, North will make that decision. But what we've guaranteed is there's twenty five uh, dollar tickets for sale, and there will be um, uh, kids are, tickets are five dollars. So those tickets will be available tonight. Um, clearly, North made a decision, and certainly some premium. Seated tickets on the wing. I imagine if they've put them up, but if I was a North supporter, I'd be very annoyed. You know, you follow them through years where they don't get a kick, and but, then but they, those, they're those, in a top game. Are oh, we going to charge you more to come? Those up? people will already have membership tickets now, and they'll be there, and they're not charging anything. So there's, it's limited public sales. Less than twenty um, percent tickets are public sales, and of those twenty percent, over the course of the year, we are guaranteeing twenty-five dollar adults tickets and five dollar children's tickets. So you'll get them tonight. But, so, but, but, uh, be a member, or if you want to roll up on the day. There are twenty-five dollar tickets available, but for a high-demand game like tonight, the, there's there's some, the the premium seats they've put up, and that's the club's prerogative. But presumably, the twenty-five dollar tickets are behind pillars and things. Or no, up, we don't up, have up, anything behind so far, pillars. So far, high. You no, can't, they're, they're, you need they're, oxygen. They'll be high, yeah. But 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 reality, Neil, is with membership at nine hundred thousand, most of the lower bowl and good seats are sold already because the membership's a staple of our game. Federal government's clamping and, down. And by the way. On average, the average membership ticket's about $184, which is, you know, 16, 17, whatever my mass are, dollars per game. It's good value if you buy a membership. Federal government's clamping down on in play betting and overseas uh, betting. Does that, does that concern you? Um, what they've done or what they're doing? No, we're in a good discussion with the government and they're making uh, responsible decisions. What The submission we put is we're concerned that uh, it will mean that. People go offshore where we can't control it, and that's an integrity problem. So that so the people who want to bet in the run, people offer that market, you know, out of China or off you, 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 offshore somewhere, and we think that's got a potential to have an integrity problem. That was our submission. But so you're happy with in-play betting, then? You don't doesn't worry? No, it doesn't worry us. And you can do it over the phone now. So the fact that it, you know, to extend it to the internet, I don't. I think people, if they want to, they'll bet um, you know, over the phone, or as I say, they'll go offshore. So we used to like to have it all here and regulated. Hello, Anne. Go ahead, Anne. Oh, you're off with the fairies. Me? Yes, and you should, have, should admit that you make a mistake like you want Arnott's to do. Essendon deserved this match Who's on it? Anzac Day. They played it when there was no one else to play. No one wanted it. And they built up the crowds. They built up the expectations. And it's a huge success. Now you want to take success away from them. It's ridiculous. I'm with you. Are you? No. <laughs> hey, the, the Gil, Gil and McLaughlin, you so... But it was a pretty ordinary game. Well, Dennis, Dennis Comedia said get him out. So I've missed the lead up now. You want to get rid of Essendon? Yeah. Who do you no, want to Dennis have? Dennis Comedia M- does. Melbourne against who? No, 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 no. If Essendon, whoever's uncompetitive, you want a top class game, don't you? But can you fiddle with it, really? I think uh, I think that uh, this is a tradition that's, you know, Kevin Sheedy is the leader here, and I think, and Graham Allen, it's 20 years. There's teams that have lesser and better seasons, but these guys. I've created something special. There's a there's a knock on for the whole round, and I've got no intention of moving either club. All right, well, indefinitely. Indefinitely. Mm. Hey, are we going to get more Americans playing football? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, the Mason Cox story is unbelievable when you think about it. Uh, Fifteen, 
16, I call it 18 months ago. He'd never heard of the game, never seen it. Um, and, you know, he, he actually really made a difference last week. He's six, seven foot, mobile. He'll get much better. He's only 24 or something. And the guys have been in America last week. We've been running these screening camps, I think, for three or four years now. There was a 213 centimetre guy there who's more, is tall at two centimetres, smaller than, athlete, uh, than Mason Cox, and they say equally or more athletic. Someone's going to get that guy. So um, Ruckman are hard to find, and there is a tap of uh, a huge number of very tall athletic guys who are developed because they've been playing you know, college basketball in semi, you know, in quasi-professional systems. And and they come out of that and they're really looking for a, a career. So they've built up athletic. They just need to learn our game. And he shows you can do it in, in a couple of years. You wanted 50,000 for Melbourne, S, Melbourne Richmond. Got 60, just yep. on 60, which is a good result. Amazing walk-up. Sunday up. night game. Yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah, it was a good walk-up, which is mm. important. I, I think people like to do that, still decide on the mm. on the day or the night. $25 at the gate they were paying, Neil. What do you... What, yeah, in the gods. What do you expect... Children are free on Sundays. Tonight. Tonight? Dog, dogs and uh, the guys are forecasting 41 or 2. I reckon there'll be more than that because they work on percentages of, of members' show rates. I reckon it'll be high. I reckon there's going to be 43 or 4. So Melbourne versus St Kilda this weekend. We're having a bet? Yeah. You're not allowed to? Well, I'm allowed to have it if there's actually not a legal obligation to pay. Well, I'm not going to bet with you if you're not going to pay. If you lose... No, but I could bet with you because legally you couldn't enforce it. That's how the rules work. You and I, I'll tell you what, I'll have a... I'll find an original box of uh, barbecue shapes. I'll bet you that. A box of originals. Gillam McLaughlin Arnott's coming up. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very keen for it to stay the same.